Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the finale. It's my first ever YouTube finale uh, for my year-long project. Well, it's not my first. It's my first ever year-long finale. So this is the Team Project Pan. It was set up by Kat and Hayley. You generally you just choose a product from every category of makeup and also perhaps some beauty products as well. So I've been doing this all year. I'll link Kat and Hayley down below and they've decided, as far as I know, that they're going to do it again next year. I'm also going to do it again next year because I absolutely loved it and I think it was really successful for me. So what I'm going to do, this video is going to be just immensely long. I just know it, I just feel it. I feel like it is. So the structure of it is going to be that I'm going to show you all of my empties for the whole year that I've managed to hang on to, which I think is pretty much almost everything, as far as I'm aware. And the reason why I'm doing that is because when I'm watching YouTube videos of finales, I love seeing all the empties. That's just why I decided to do it like that. So the first section is going to be all my beauty empties. The next one is going to be all my makeup empties, including what I finished between the last update and now. And then I'm going to do any progress at the end. And then at the start of January, I'm going to do an intro because I absolutely loved it. Every quarter you can do a refresh. And the hashtag is Team Project. So I have a little diary here, I wrote down my bits and pieces. So I finished in this project, sorry, in this project I finished in total 66 products and a lot of these were from start to finish in this year and 46 of them were makeup items and 20 of them were beauty products, like that just anything that wasn't makeup. I include individual pans as far as I'm aware, like if it was a face palette pretend and there's a blush and a bronzer and a highlighter if I finished the blush I counted it as one because to me it was one and in my inventory it's one so I'm going to start by showing you my beauty products so out of the beauty products this is what I've counted up so far I have 16 of the 20 with me and the reason why is in my last makeup empties I had four beauties and I accidentally threw them in the bin and you know I made it 11 months without doing that <laughs> come on okay and by the way, happy Christmas. So this is a, oh God, this is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this and I can't wait to throw this crap in the bin. <laughs> and I'm also going to tell you if I'd repurchase any of the stuff. So let's just get into it. So I've got my beauty product in this bag here, okay? So the first beauty product I finished in no particular order is the grapefruit, pink grapefruit body butter from the body shop. So it's all gone. It was, ugh. I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't smell like grapefruit. It was a kind of a thicker cream, as intense body butter. I didn't particularly like it, and I would not get this again. So, excuse me, one of 20, wouldn't get it again. Item number two that I finished is the Bayless and Harding Limited Edition Indulgent Moisturising Body Lotion. There was 200 mils in this. This was brand new when I started, and I wouldn't get it again. It was too liquidy, didn't really moisturise. It's all gone, and I wouldn't get it Smells floral, just wouldn't get it again. I don't really like really liquidy moisturizers. It's just not, not my taste. Um, so no, I wouldn't get that again. Item number three is the Givenchy um, body lotion in press play. And I got this from my dad. <laughs> dad years and years ago. That'll tell you how old it is. Smells fantastic. Bought me, we were on a boat. We were going to the UK, I think, on the boat. And um, he got me the perfume and the body lotion. I think I've used. I've used up the perfume. It looked like a little iPod, iPod, a pink iPod. And it says press pay. It smells really, really nice, but it's really perfumey in it. Like it's very, very sweet. Oh, it is really nice, but I wouldn't get that one again either. And how many mils were in this? 75, that was my phone, Snapchat apparently. I wouldn't get that again either. Again, uh, Royal Bouquet Bayless and Harding Pink Peony Body Lotion. And there was 500 mils. Every single product I've mentioned, I think that I'm going to mention, I had never used before. And it was just sitting on that, this table over there, cluttering it up, and I never got to it. I don't know why. And I'm really glad that this is gone. This was really liquidy, it came out in blobs, like big blobs out of the thing. Kept it on my desk in work, actually. I can't get that little bit in the corner. Um, I didn't like this. What does it smell like? I'm going to assume floral. Oh my God! It smells like Calpol, yes! I loved Calpol as a kid. It did. <laughs> I was allowed one spoon when I was sick. But yeah, it smells like Calpol if you have that in the US. I don't know, or Canada, but I know in Ireland you do. 
I'm not sure in the rest of Europe, but yeah, it smells, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to smell like medicine, but anyway, yeah, I wouldn't get that again. So we have the Kylie Minogue Darling Body Lotion in, yeah, it's just body lotion. It's 200 mils. That whole thing is gone as well. No. This smells like teenager, and I don't even mean 15 and up, I mean under 15, like preteen. God, no, no. No, there's nothing wrong with that, but just like, this is just not a scent that I'm into. It's quite big. Like, look at that alone taking up the table. But yeah, another one gone. This is a good reference for me to see how much body lotion I use up. Now, if I didn't work in an office building, I definitely wouldn't have used up so much. I just kept it on my desk and would reapply. Aircon makes me dry. So this is Closer by Halle Berry, and this one has 2.5 fluid ounces or 75 mils. I actually was surprised by this one. Halle Berry. This one smells nice. I wouldn't get it again, but I liked the formula of it, like the consistency, the viscosity. Yeah, I don't really know what that smells like. What does that smell like? Oh, soap. Fancy soap. Fancy floral, no, fancy perfumey soap, like a bar of soap. But um, I liked the formula of it, but no, I wouldn't get it again. This is the Gucci by Gucci, uh, 100 mils or 3.3 fluid ounces. I got this off my mama. She didn't buy it for me, she had it and she gave it to me. Yeah. I remember this one being pretty much like water. You'd put it on, it would run everywhere. Now could you, I don't know how much this is, but judging by the fact that it's Gucci, could you imagine how much this probably is and then to be that useless? I don't know anyone that would like that. I'm not just saying, oh, I didn't like it, but someone else would. But I can't imagine anyone liking like water run down you. Not a lotion. It didn't smell great either. No. What does that smell like? Just nothing. Just perfume, but no distinct perfume. So this one I got off to my friend Tamara. This is in Citrus Pop. It's a Citrus Pop hand cream. Don't know where she got it, but it had, that's says 24 months. How much is in it? I think 30 mils. Yeah, 30 mils. I went through this really, really quickly. I really liked this. Just a citrusy, just a citrusy hand cream. It's really, really nice. It actually was quite moisturizing as well. I, I wouldn't bother getting it again, to be honest, but I did like it. Uh, this one is closer by Halle Berry, but it's actually a shower gel, so it went with that. And there's 75 mils or 2.2 ounces in it. This hat was a clear. It was clear and again, it, it came out in little blobs. This one smells like shower gel, child shower gel. Do you remember when I was a kid, there was an ad that would come on and it would be a parent putting like, it was a shampoo in a child's head. It would be like, keep the tears away. And it was in a weird child, nice shaped bottle. It smells like that. If I can find a picture of it, I'll stick it on the screen. I wonder is that everywhere or is that just here? What was that? Okay, <laughs> this whole thing is body lotion. Um, Katy Perry Mad Love Body Lotion, 75 mils, 2.5 fluid ounces. Can't you see these are gifts I got growing up, which is really thoughtful, but never yet. I'm wrecking the place. This one smells really, really sweet. Gosh, really sweet, like sugar sweet. No, glad I used that. So that's Katy Perry Mad Love. I wouldn't use that. I wouldn't even use that again. I would just give it away. Okay, so I got this as part of my Chris Kindle or Secret Santa last year in work. Got a few things. This was part of it. It is the M&S Beauty, so Marks and Spencer's Beauty Flora Collection in Rose Hand and Body Lotion. There's only like, what? There's 50 mils in this. This was really nice, quite moisturizing, smelled like rose, and I used it ridiculously quickly. Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't get it again. It has to be, it's not that there's something wrong with them. It just, it has to be just phenomenal. Like it just has to be out there for me to go to the effort of buying it again. Next two products. These are surprising, these ones. So I got these in Aldi. So this one is in Peony number 11 hand cream. Luxury it says, 30 mils. These were fantastic and they're so cheap. So, so cheap. Smells like flowers. Smells like luxury flowers. Not, is there such a thing? Smells like Joe Malone version of a flower. Oh God. And this was not really watery and it was not like a thick cream. It, and it, I wouldn't even call it a, it's not even quite a lotion. It's a bit thicker, but it was just so smooth and oh, elegant. Can't smell it now, I don't know what I'm doing. Loved that and it came in a set and I would get it. I actually had to stop myself from using these up even though they're so affordable. This one, I, may, I brought this in the last update. 
and I was saying, oh sh crap, is that a curse word? But over here it's not. Um, I thought I was gonna jinx myself because it's brand new and I introduced it. 30 mils, it's pomegranate and I used it up and it's fantastic. Well, it's really, these ones, these scents are all quite strong. I don't know if everyone likes that, but they're like very, you can smell them. It smells like the perfume pomegranate noir. Oh God, it's unreal. I would get them again. And they're only like, what were they? One euros 50. I'm gonna take these all out in one go. So I got all of these scents for Christmas last year in a set from my mama and my daddy. Mom and dad gave me these for Christmas, look. Would you look at them? These. So part of the four items that I accidentally threw in the bin is one of these. And it was only a travel size and it was in Sugar Crush. I actually have a full size of it here so you get an idea. So this is the Sugar Crush, um, what is this called? A body spray. There is 100 mils in it and I think the travel size or whatever you call it had 50. So half of it, I think. So this one, Sugar Crush, 3.3 US fluid ounces or 100 mils. This smells exactly like the Sugar Crush body lotion from Soap and Glory, it's the exact same. The mister is quite fine. I wonder what would happen if I tried to spray it. What would happen? Oh, for the love of God, I look like I'm... Yes. Okay, it's gone now. I don't know what that was about. Okay, so I finished this one as well. I really liked this one. This one, if I I still wouldn't get any of them again because I couldn't be bothered, but um, if I had no perfume for work and I didn't want to use my nice like nice ones because I feel like it's a waste even though it probably isn't, I'd get this one again. This one I'd recommend. It's really, really nice. So that's this one. Still not getting any of them again, but if I had to, this one would be the one. Fruit to go. This one here is in Miss You Madly. This one is really nice as well. This one... It, it's not sweet, it's not like bath, it's just like a really dainty, soft perfume. Um, and it's just soft, it's really, really nice. What's in it? But no, I wouldn't bother getting it again unless I had no perfume left and I needed something for work. Uh, this is the original pink, so this one smells like the, where is it, is it there? Can you see it there? The original tub, um, Righteous Body Butter. That's what that one smells like in a spray, it's really nice. This one here is an original pink again. Uh, so two of the same ones that smells like the body butter. So I finished one, two, three, four, five, six. What, three, four, this one is five and then the one that's missing is six. So I finished six of them. I finished, the three other items that I finished were the Sarah Jessica Parker perfume. You'll see it in my last video, the video before last. Don't, wouldn't bother getting it again. The Kate Moss Sublime Body Lotion, wouldn't get that one again. It had 150 mils in it. And oh, and the Katy Perry perfume in Mad Love. I wouldn't get that again. I seem to have finished an awful lot of body lotions and perfumes. That's pretty much the whole thing. So that's 20 beauty related items. And out of the 20 beauty products, I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't go out and wouldn't leave and go and buy any of them again. I don't want to buy any of them again. So that's 20 out that will stay out. And that just shows, doesn't it? Actually, no, I lied. I lied. Oh gosh, I lied. Out of the 20 products again, I would buy the set that has this hand cream in it. But I, Aldi don't generally, as far as I'm aware, it's hard to get stuff in there that comes back recurringly. So if it ever came back, I'd get it. So that were the, that was my beauty section. Now on to the makeup. Okay, guys, I had to go and cross check to make sure I had all of my makeup products. So out of the 46 makeup products, I have all 46 here. So the first makeup product I finished is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray Long Lasting Oil Free 118 mils or four fluid ounces. I would get this again. Will I go out and get it right now? No, but would I get it again? Yes, I would get it, but I'm not gonna go out and get it now. I have another setting spray that does the job. This one, it does prolong the wear of my makeup. Like, I get a smaller size, I wouldn't get a big one because I'd only use this on like something like a wedding or a night out and I don't go on as many nights out anymore because I don't enjoy it. I just, I don't feel like I enjoy it as much. I enjoy the dressing up, but then after that then. Enough now, but yes, I would wear it for stuff like that. But other than that, a primer does the job. It's very harsh, like it's not like a lovely little mist. It's, it's hardcore, it feels like I'm spraying 
uh, hairspray. And do you remember that? Did anyone do that? It's like spraying hairspray onto your face. So I would get it again, perhaps in a small size, but not anytime soon because I have the Milani one. Next in this project, I finished three mascaras. So I finished two Thick and Fast by Soap and Glory in Film Noir. They're just the black ones. They both say that they have six months till expiry. I got them both for Christmas in a set from my mum and dad. So I actually got them over so two years. So last year, mum and dad, the year before, Porik, who's my boyfriend, if you don't know, which you probably already do. So here it is. Here it is a, just a bristle brush. It's a really, really wet formula. It lifts the lashes. It gives it an awful lot of volume. But for me, it seems to transfer onto the top of my lid quite easily, even when it's drying out. But I do like them. I just, I wouldn't bother getting them again. If I got them, I used, I would use them. But there's nothing wrong with them. They're actually grand, but... They're not, they're not cruelty free as far as I'm aware, so no. The third mascara I finished was a W7 one and it is just says Absolute Lashes. I loved this. I think this was five or six euros. It's really cheap. It says it's blackest black. And if I could find this, I would just look at that. Now this is a preference thing. This is a plastic bristle brush. It's real, what do I call it? A real scratchy, a real itchy one. Like it gets right, it just gets so far up under there and it lifts those up. It does such a good job. It's fantastic. I don't know how it's so cheap because it's so good. Well, I, I suppose I don't really use expensive mascaras anyway. But if I could find this, which I haven't seen since, I would get it again. And I, I actually would definitely get it again, but I don't know where to get it. As far as I'm aware, I have it in a plastic bag because I don't have a table, so it's hard to see. I finished two powders in this project, one loose, one pressed. So this one here I finished, it is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Bake Matte Highlighter in Matte Lights. So I used this as a, it's a highlighter, but I used it as a pressed powder. I feel like I used up another one. I mustn't have, but yeah, I don't like this. It is meant to be a highlighter. Like it was baked, it was baked. I tried to get as much of it out as I could. And there was, how much was in it? There was 7.5 grams. I had never used it before this project. So I use it from start to finish in here and I would not get it again. This one here is the W7 Banana Dreams Loose Powder. So this one had 20 grams in it. And I used it all, because the little markings are still on the side a little bit. I used it all up. This was actually a product I was going to to clutter, would you believe? Because I got it to, this thing is annoying me, to set under here, under my eyes. But when I would put it on under here, it would be really yellow, like really, really dark yellow. So it was too dark for me and it would crepe. So then I decided, right, I'll use it on the rest of my face and then I'll decide. So it was so good for the rest of my face, but like it poofed everywhere and I do my wake up and work. But the powder itself is really nice for the rest of your face. I used one foundation. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter 30 mils uh, in the shade one. This was an airless pump, so it would go up. I would not get it again. It's too heavy for what my taste is right now. It is a full on, full coverage foundation. It is the fullest of the full that I have ever used. So I remember back when I was wearing this, I didn't have necessarily a preference then. I did like full coverage foundation. Now I don't as much, I'm just, my taste change. But even then, I'd put it on one day and I'd be like, gosh, ooh, yeah, look at my face. It's really smooth looking. Then the other day, the next day, I'd put it on to be balls pilling up on my face. It just, and then no matter what, and it would pill here. Oh, it was shocking. And it was, and it would separate everywhere. Well, that, that, that's the look of the draw with a full coverage foundation. When it comes off, it's, it, you know, you're going to see it's so full coverage. But this was like, as I'm putting it on, it's separating around here. It was so crap that and then other days it was so nice. So considering this is like something like 39 euros, well, I wouldn't get it again because one, my tastes aren't that full coverage at the moment. And two, because it's too inconsistent even then for that price. So no. The next one, I finished one eyebrow related thing. I've been panning this for over three years now. It's good value because it was like 12 99 so 13 euros. So it's a sleek brow kit in light 817. So one side had a, look how handy it is. One side had a pomade in it and the other side, you think I'd clean it, wouldn't you? Sorry, it has been in this box for ages. One side is a powder and one side is a pomade. I finished the pomade off relatively quickly. The powder lasts for 17 billion years to get through. So it's it was handy because I had a little mirror and I could bring it around with me, but, you know, 
I don't think I'd get it again. And the reason is for a powder, I just use an eyeshadow that is relative to my, I'm using an eyeshadow in there right now. I'm using a pomade as well. Ah, uh, I suppose. No, no, I don't think so. It's only 13 euros, so if I want, I would, but like I prefer just an individual pomade and I'll use an eyeshadow I have. But if I was going to, it's 12 to 13 euros. It's very good value, but no. My eye primers that I use, these were like, look at that. There is so much in here. They're actually very good to give you this kind of a sample because I got months out of this. So there was the original Eden Sin and Anti-Aging. I didn't like Sin because it was really shimmery and kind of transparent and I didn't like it. The anti-aging one was really watery for me. The original, it must have, it was grand actually, the original was grand. And the Eden was my favorite one because it was a kind of a concealer. Not concealer, like a pinky, a salmon-y kind of a color. But I, I couldn't be bothered or any of them. I'm, at the moment, I'm just using a pot. I don't really care for it at the moment, so no. Now, I finished an awful lot of lip products, so oh, God help me. I'll, I'll do everything else and then I'll get to the lip because there's just too, there's a, there is a lot. This is like the, the happiest empty for the whole year for me. So I was using the number seven Soft Damson Blush all year. And I had repressed it the last time into this. I had been using it as a blush and an eyeshadow at that point to try and get the last little bits because I had repressed it, it was quite powdery. I'd even repressed a bit of a highlighter in it because towards the end of the year, my tastes kind of wanted a bit more of a glow. So it was a matte, kind of like a mauve, a matte blush. A matte, so you can see a little bit in the corner there, like a pink, but I suppose, would you call it mauve? It's the only blush I've finished this year. Blush is the hardest thing for me to finish. So there you go, look at that, an empty blush. Can't even keep it for the packaging because the window. This is my oldest blush in my collection. I have one other blush that's quite old, it's a MAC one. But this is gone, yeah! Oh my God, it's a blush. It's a blush out. Another powder I finished this year was a, the Butter Bronzer. I have re since repressed something into it. Uh, I finished the Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. It is my favorite bronzer and I have like 100 bronzers. I don't have 100 bronzers, but you know what I mean? I have a lot of bronzers in my collection, in my opinion. And I finished, I hit pan on this blush organically, on this blush, on this bronzer organically. And, and then I finished it up like within less than a year. I was just obsessed. Now I repurchased it on Black Friday. So I finished it in like May, something like that. So this is the bronzer I finished this year. The highlighter, this is also in the project, excuse me. It broke. So it is my sleek highlighting palette in Salsas. I'm gonna cover the rest of the pans and show these to you in the progress section. So I had finished this pan here. This was already finished as a cream. This was a gold highlighter and I finished it very early on in the year. It already had pan in it to begin with. Um, this was actually quite hard to finish up and I didn't like the texture. It, it emphasized texture on my skin. It had a lot of glitter particles on it. There's a friend of mine who uses it and it's absurd. There's someone outside the window looking at me. Yep, a woman, two women. <laughs> they must think I'm crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it looked stunning on her. She was like a goddess of a glow, but on me it was like stripe, ball bots and bots? spots and like glitter pieces. So it was very intense and I didn't like how it looked on my skin. Really affordable, a load of people love it. The only reason I didn't is because of the texture of it. And I'll revert back to this product later. And I broke, but I've been panning it for over two years, so. Another product that I finished, I just, I said I'd pull the palettes. I fit, this was the Sleek, what is this? The Sleek Cream Highlighting Cream Contour Kit in light. I finished, all three of these top ones here. I just counted that as one for some reason, but I finished all three of these. These were all the bronzer shades. These are all the concealer shades. I've hit pan out of two out of three. Um, this is actually really handy. I, like I said, ugh, what effort to carry this thing around. But in work, it was really handy to kind of mix, mix them together, to, depending on what look, because when I was, in the summer, my skin tone was changing quite a bit, not ever to dark as I wanted it to be, but like I'd wear fake tan some days as a little bit darker than my fairest. So it was handy to mix and I did enjoy it. I, I don't think I'd get it again. I'd just get an individual cream contour. I do enjoy them. But next year I'm gonna try and finish off this completely. It appears from this bag that I finished two eyeliners, hang on. The black Rimmel eyeliner, look at my nails, I'm so sorry. Um, So this is the black eyeliner by Rimmel. It's not cruelty free, I would not get it again. It is to be 
sorry to be rude, but it's useless. Um, I'm so sorry because someone made the effort of making it, but it is not black, it's grey. It doesn't coat your waterline and it comes off in about two seconds. And that's comes off within 20 minutes to a half an hour for me, it came off. And I don't think I have particularly watery uh, eye waterline. And not that it comes off entirely, it comes off patchy. So I might have black here, black here and nothing here. It's not good, it's a waste of money. So even if it was a fiver, it's still a waste of a fiver because it doesn't work. The other eyeliner I finished, <laughs> oh God, get out. Okay, so this is the Barry M White eyeliner, the Cole eyeliner, as far as I'm aware. This one was really, really, really creamy. Um, I don't really like white. I, at the time I did like white and waterline. Now I prefer t nude. White is too stark. So the Barry M, it didn't stay very long in the waterline. The formula is really creamy. I wouldn't get it again because I have white is too stark at the moment for my interests and it doesn't stay that long in the waterline. I'll do eyeshadows and then on to lip products because the lip products are, there's just an awful lot of them. So I finished one individual eyeshadow and that was the Wet n Wild in Sugar. It was a white eyeshadow with um, glitter pieces in it. it. I don't like it, I wouldn't get it again. I use it to set down my um, eyeshadow primer or concealer, whatever I was using. It like it, it didn't show up too much. Obviously, I would not get it again. The formula was grand, but no, the color was not something I'd be into. How many grams are in you? 1.7 grams. It actually took quite a while to use up, surprisingly. Um, I like the packaging. I have since purchased Creme Brulee to go and see what the hype is in relation to that one. But that's gone. I might keep the packaging, actually. We'll see. The other eyeshadows I finished in this project, as far as I'm, I'm just going to cover, it's from this, uh, my Panda palette section. So there's nothing really to show, I suppose, in extra in this. I'll show it to you all. I've expanded the pan here, I've expanded the pan here. But anyway, I finished these three shades. Um, these were three cream shades. These were all full. This whole palette was brand new at the start of the year. And I finished all three of these matte cream shades. Right, well, we'll start with the pencil bits. I have finished up, I finished up three lip liners in this product project so i finished two l'oreal ones okay we'll start here with the l'oreal it'll come out uh. there's two there's two girls coming now teen teenagers so this is l'oreal in what's this one beige and new this was terrible the color was grand right the color for both of them were fine that's beige and new and this is bois de rose um, the colours were fine for both of them. God, they're standing outside the window and they're stopped. If I look left, they'll see me. They're staring. Oh God, this is so embarrassing. So Bois de Rose and Beige Anu, the formula was kind of dry, reminded me of a MAC one, but uh, it broke so quickly. If you sharpen it, like I went through one of these in a month. What a waste. They were 4 49 or 4 59 Either way, they're around the five euro mark, but again, it's a waste of a fiver because it went too quickly because I'd have to sharpen it and then a little piece would come out, break off, sharpen, sharpen. Waste of money. L'Oreal is not cruelty free, so I'm kind of glad I don't like them. This is the NYX one in nude beige. This I finished and I have a backup. Um, so yes, this is gone. So sorry guys, one product that's not lip product. I finished one concealer here. It is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in peach. I wouldn't get this again. Well, I finished this at the start of the year, so my tastes of coverage have changed, so I don't know. But I, at the time, I didn't want to get it again because it was too light of a coverage. The pink shade, the salmon was grand, but didn't really cover up any dark circles because it was so sheer on me. However, the normal concealer shade that a lot of people in work tend to like. On continuing on with this path, I have finished four lip balms, okay? Here we go. I finished up, they're all from Lidl, not Aldi. So CN, these are the CN Shiny Pearl, and these are the CN, just CN Care. These blue ones taste, they're oh, just a white lip balm stick. They taste a bit like licorice. I got them in Lidl, I think the set is three euros for three. You get three in a set. And this one reminds me of the Nivea one. It gives a kind of a, when I was a teen child, teenager, I wasn't really allowed to wear, not allowed, really allowed to wear makeup till my later teens, but I used to wear a Nivea lip balm that had a pink 
a little bit of a pink coverage. It's the exact same as that, tastes the same and smells the same as that. Really like these ones, I would get them again. I do repurchase, when I get down to my last lip balm, I always repurchase the set of three anyway. So it is not good for really crusty, chapped lips. It's just good for a, kind of a maintenance lip balm and I put it on before my makeup and it does the job of moisturizing. This one, the same rule applies. I'd get these ones, ones again also. I like both. This one, they take about three months for me to use. Now I know, I'm aware I go through lip products relatively quickly, but I leave them on my desk at work. So that's why. Right, so it appears, uh, it's the, all right, I finished, I also finished three lipsticks. Um, I Everything that I'm showing you, um, I had never used at all. I had started them all this year. This is the Avon Color Trend lipstick in, I don't know what it's called anymore, because it's gone. I think it was in Woodland. It was a purple brown. You can see in here. It looked brown on the lips with a sheen of purple. It was actually nice. Smells gone off now at this point, but I wouldn't get it again. It's not cruelty free. The color was grand, but even then it's not like standoutish that I'd get it again. That's gone. I'm really glad because I am so atrocious at decluttering. This one is the, uh, what is this? Benefit Their Real uh, Double Lip The Tip in Pink Thrills. This was when you had a lip liner at the top and a lipstick at the bottom. You twist here to, to make it go up. This was actually really nice. I actually liked it and I'm not normally a pink lipstick wearer. Um, would I get it again? I don't think so, because it didn't stand out. But it was handy to have a lip liner in it, but it was, I remember being pleasantly surprised when I was wearing it and I enjoyed the formula. This one I liked. This was an Avon one again, and this one, what was this? This is called Ice Spice. This was a brown. I love browns and nudes. And there's no, ugh, you can't see. I got it went in there. This is a brown lipstick. It was a kind of a cream satin lip formula, full coverage, obviously. I wouldn't get it again because it's not cruelty free, but I actually did enjoy this one. It was a really nice, cool tone brown. It wasn't a dark, dark brown. Um, but it was really lovely. Now, mother of God, guys. I hope I didn't build this up too much. Okay, guys, I have a lot of lip glosses here that I finished. Again, never used any of them before. How many have I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have 13 lip glosses in my hand uh, that I started and finished this year. However, some of them are minis, that's why. So we'll start with the full size and I'll end with the minis because my hands are full. Sorry, this is quite sticky. So this one is, what is this? This is the Isadora Jojoba with Jojoba Oil Moisturizing Lip Gloss. Don't know what shade it is. Oh, it's in Choco Ice. I've removed the stopper out of all of these. So this was a brown sheer lip gloss. It was actually really nice. I wouldn't bother getting it again, but I did like the fact that it was brown and sheer. It was really nice. This one was an Avon one in Color Trend. Read my lips and the, the name is rubbed off but it was in the shade Angel. My battery is running out. It was a pink lip gloss. It was really nice, it was a little baby pink. I wouldn't get it again. I'm rushing now because the battery is going. Uh, this is another lip gloss by Avon and this was in Bronze and Beautiful. This was an orangey brown lip gloss. Wouldn't get it again. Nice comfortable formula. The Chanel lip gloss, probably fake, I think, but it doesn't really matter. It was a pink one, don't know the name of it. I never knew the name of it. Again, I removed the stopper, you squeeze, it come up through the top. It was a very, very light pink, lighter than this on the lips. Wouldn't get it again. This is an Avon one, it took absolutely forever. This had 10 mils in it and it was a dark pink. It was really nice, but it was it took forever to use. This one was a really long one to use. These are all Tarte mini lip glosses. These are all these, how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them, there's about two mils in each. I removed the stopper out of them all. My favorite one was this one in row. It was a limited edition Christmas set, uh, like 2013. Sorry. But anyway, it smelled like peppermint. Really liked all of them actually, but my favorite one was row. So a brownie nude, wouldn't get anything again because it can't, but brownie nude in row. This light pink one in Viv. I'm sorry I keep looking, the flashy of the battery. Um, this one is in Spence, dark pink again. This is like a dark, this is a dark burgundy pink and this one is in Sully and I wouldn't get any of them again because I can't. This one is another pink and this one is in Finn. This one is John and two more. This is Lizzie and this is Cam. So that's all of them. 
my hands are really, really sticky from that. So now I hope my battery's not gonna go, but I'm gonna fly through the progress if I can. So this is my, that was 46 makeup empties, okay? So 66 in total. This is, my cream bronzer that I'm using is this one here. It is the, what is this, 17 one. There's no particular shade, there's eight and a half grams in it. You can see there's a big pan in it. I wanted a hit side pan, I did not. I put it on underneath my makeup. I really like it. I've used a full one before. It's no longer for sale, so. Just, I'm just using it up. This is my Nivea Post Shave Sensitive Balm. I've been using this all year as my primer. There's no need to mark it. It'll be gone the next time because barely any is coming out. It has glycerin in it, it's for men, but it keeps my makeup on, so it does the job. A boring one, but one nonetheless, is my, um, what do you call this? The Benefit Cabrera in the shade two. I've officially been using this a year. Well, on the 25th, so in four days, four or five days. I'll have been using this a year and I still haven't hit pan and I use it as my only thingy majiggy. So as my only pomade. It's grand, it's perfect, I like it. It's in the shade too. It's quite a dry formula, so just be aware of that. This one here, as you have seen, is broken. So on the screen, you will see where I was. I was working on the orange one and I wanted to have half of the orange one used by this update. I thought that was a bit much to ask, but anyway. I have used half of the orange. Well, probably a little bit more than half now. So I did not finish the palette. This is my second year panning it. It's still not gone. So I'm gonna bring this into next year and hopefully finish off this whole thing. Now, my progress slowed down on this because I was panning quite a lot of highlighters towards the middle to end of year. So I'm going, this is quite thin, so this will probably be gone if I was consistent within the month. This, however, is really thick, so it'll take me a while. So I did not finish the palette, but I did hit my goal on finishing at least half of the orange. So this will be rolled over into next year's project. This was 51 grams the last time. It was my Maybelline Color Tattoo in, was it, was it, what's it called? In Creme de Nude. Sorry if I'm rushing, it's just the battery is flashing. So it was 51 grams the last time and it's still 51 grams. There's a dip there. I put it on my eye as primer. It cancels out the lines. It does a good job. It's kind of dry though. It's kind of dry. My concealer, <clears throat> I didn't finish it, but I will. This will be rolled over also. I wouldn't get it again because it's not cruelty free. It's in the shade light. It's not too stark of a difference. It's not a full coverage, but it, uh, it does the job. This product has lost three grams this update. So I rolled this in the last time because I finished my powder and it's the strobe highlighter in Everglow Lights by Makeup Revolution. Again, it's meant to be a highlighter. Again, I don't see, I don't know how that is because it doesn't highlight. So I use it as a kind of a glowy finishing powder. It had a load of grooves on it. As you, I don't know if you can see, if I have a picture, I'll put it up there. But um, yeah, I've worn off all of the grooves and I've used three grams this whole month. I have never used it before. And it, I weighed it and it's three grams down. Don't, I have no idea how, because I did not use it every time I did my makeup. The mascara I rolled in the last time, or I don't know what time, Benefit They're Real, it's a mini. This is still going, I like it. However, it seems to transfer to the top of my, up here and down here, so I don't like that. But I like the wand, it's a plastic bristle brush. This Catrice pencil I've been using all year. I think it's in the shade Casanova. It's for my eyebrows. I can't hold it up, but I would get this again because it's such good value. It's, as far as I'm aware, they're cruelty free and it lasts for the whole year. So that's where I am now. So the whole year went from here down to here. So it's very good value, I like it. This bronze, this palette that I've been using as my bronzer, I rolled it in a couple of months ago. I think it was like two months ago. This is the bronze palette. There is 11, 13 grams in it. So I've been working on what you're, this one here and this one here. So I've used up another gram. So how much have I used up in total? So I've used up a gram this time. So it's actually been in two months. I just checked there. So in total, I've used up two grams. It's funny that I haven't hit pan if I've used up two grams. If there's only 13 grams in the whole palette. That's confusing to me. I see the rings on this one at the moment. So I use this on my neck. I use this on my cheeks. I'm oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. I use this on my neck and I mix these for my cheeks, even though this is dark enough. It's just that this is the darkest shade in the palette. So like, I think the rest of them may work, but that one was quite dark. So didn't hit pan on it, but I'm thinking I'll roll this over to next year as well. This one here is the MAC, MAC? This is the It Cosmetic CC Cream in Fair. I forgot to mark it, I'm sorry. So I'm actually here now. No, I'm not, I'm lying. Well, I'm here now, you can see back, so you can see back here. I'm here. 
So it's not gone. It was 39 euros. I don't care when this finished because I have four foundations in my collection. They're all hugely full coverage. This is a medium coverage. It's not full. They're all matte. This is not matte, but it's not dewy. It's kind of natural satin finish. It is my favorite foundation in my collection. And when this finishes, I will be repurchasing it straight away because I don't have anything else with this level of coverage. And I like it so much for absolutely everything. I have a different foundation on today that's a full coverage one to try and not use it. Even though I'm panning it, I try to slow down because I really like it. It there's, I think there's something like 33, it's worn off, but like 33 or 35 mils is a lot of product in it, a little bit more than normal. There's someone outside carrying flowers. Absolutely loved it, would recommend. So it is the Yardley Lip Liner in Tudor Rose. It is a pink lip liner. And I really like the formula. I don't know where you can get it. Um, Jessica said that this was cruelty free, so it's cruelty free if you can find it. It's a really nice formula and I enjoy it. So where did I go? Where? So the I've only had this in for a little while, but there was the intro last update and now. So I've used up actually quite a bit of it. Another lip product is the Sleek Matte Me in Petal. I flip, bleh. I have not panned, I've yet to pan a liquid lipstick in my panning career. I haven't finished this. There is six mils in it because you don't really need to reapply them. It's a really dry formula, but it's a real thin formula. I wear lip gloss over it because it is so dry, but I don't know if you can see this. Can you see in? No, you can't. Oh, can you? But you can, if you could see in, you can see like little windows down there. I'm gonna keep using this next year because I'm like so committed to finishing it. I rolled in, I rolled in a lip gloss last update. So this has only been in a month. And it was the Colour Trend Avon Red Lip Gloss in Kiss Kiss. So look at that. <gasps> look how much I've used. There's six mils in this. So I went from the top down to there. I don't know if you can see. I'll hold it up really close. Can you see? You can actually see. It's actually quite thin formula. It's a red lip gloss. It is grand. It's just that I don't wear red enough. And so I was never wearing this. So I actually pair it over the pink. Over the pink liquid lipstick, I just don't even care. The last project, product, and then I am done, is my banana powder that was in this thing here, that Poric 3D printed for me. So it's the banana powder from the Makeup Revolution kit. My goal was to finish off half of what you see there on the screen. And ta-da! I have finished half of it, yes! Look at that, I'm so happy. I really like this. If I could buy this again, I would. I use it to set underneath my eyes and since I finished that eyeshadow to set down my eyelid as well. Really like it. It's all gone. It's not all gone. It's half of what you see is gone. So that is my finale. I think that was well too long. I don't know what I'm going to do. If it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm so happy if you've made it <laughs> remotely to this point of the video. 66 products, 46 of them makeup and 20 beauty. So that was it for my year long project and I will see you next year because I'm doing it again. Thanks a million for watching guys. Happy Christmas. Bye.